Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today the paper I've chosen is 2016 June 32. Let's start with evidence. Open the file 1632 evidence. Okay. All right, make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this evidence document by placing these details in the header. So insert a header and type in your name, center number, followed by your candidate number. Close header and footer. Save this evidence document as a word process document in your work area as 1632 evidence followed by your candidate number. So let's save this file in your work area as word document. The file name is 1632 evidence followed by your candidate number. Save. We'll need this to place evidence later. Let's start with spreadsheet task two. You are going to prepare a spreadsheet for the Goa Elephant Sanctuary to manage employees' wages. Use the most efficient formula. Display all currency values in Indian rupees to two decimal places and the example is given here. And also, you'll have to remember 1 rupee is equal to 100 paisa. Using a suitable software package, load the file 1632 sheet. Okay, let's open the file 1632 sheet. Okay, let's adjust the column size. All right. Save this file as spreadsheet with the file name 1632 underscore center number and candidate number file save as excel workbook change the format to excel workbook file name is 1632 underscore center number underscore candidate number save Place an automated file name which includes the file path on the left in the footer. Insert header and footer. Scroll down to footer on the left footer. Yeah, on the left footer. Insert the file name and file path. So click on the file path icon that gives you the file path followed by the file name. Let's get back to normal view, view tab normal. Insert two new rows between rows 12 and 13. So in between 12 and 13, we need two rows. So highlight 13 and 14, right click, insert, you'll get two new rows. In cell A14, enter the title Goa Elephant Sanctuary. Goa Elephant sanctuary and then merge cells a14 to a h14 highlight a14 to it oh this is supposed to be in a14 okay it's supposed to be here and then highlight a14 to h14 home tab merge Format the cell so that the text is center aligned with black color. It's already in the center. If not, align it to the center and in the middle. And apply black color font. 24 font size. Increase it to be 24. Serif font. Let's use Times New Roman there. And then make the contents of cell row 1, 2, 15 and 16 bold and italic. Okay. Row 1, 2, 15 and 16 apply bold and italic okay next now the function starts here the formula starts here in cell d17 place the cursor in d17 enter a function to look up from the external file so you're getting the answer from another file jobs 
So open the file first before you start with the function. And adjust the column size. And there you go. Now let's continue. In cell D17, enter a function to look up the job description of the employee. Okay, so let's get the function from the function box. Get for the function we look up because of files are vertical. Vertical lookup. Lookup value, the repeating column on both the files is job code. So job code here is C17. Table array is all the records in the job file. Highlight from A2 to B23. Column index number. You're looking for the job description. Job description here is in column B, which is the second column. And range lookup, we need the exact match of the answer. So it's going to be false. There you have it. Next. In cell E17. All right in E17. Enter a function to look up the pay from the pay grade table. So you have the pay grade table here. You're looking up from this table. The annual pay rate for this employee. Okay, so let's do the function first. Equal we look up. The repeating column is the lookup value. You have pay grade to be repeating on both the tables. So the pay grade here, the first record is B17, comma, table array, we are fetching the answer from the pay grade table, which is from A3 to B12. This is from a different table, so we'll have to make it absolute. Highlight and press function 4. four on the keyboard that makes the range absolute that is it is locked comma you're looking up for the annual salary the pay rate pay rate is in column B so your index number is going to be two range lookup is false close the bracket and then multiply this value multiply this by the value in the works column so at the end times works column it is going to be in f17 so times f17 yeah you get the answer next in cell g17 enter the formula to display these text in bold if so you're checking the condition in g17 the function you use is an if statement so equal if the condition if works column contains one works column equal to one if this condition is two, true it has to display the text full time so that goes within double quotes full time comma check the next condition if the works column contains zero then not started must be displayed if works column is equal to zero then it has to display the word not started if both these conditions are false then it is neither zero nor one so display the text part time within double quotes again part time close two brackets enter Next, in cell H17, place the cursor in H17, enter a formula to calculate the weekly wage in rupees, round it down to the nearest paisa. In one year, we have 52 weeks. Okay, we know the annual salary, that divided by 52. So equal annual salary divided by 52. And then the answer has to be rounded down to the nearest paisa so one rupee is equal to 100 paisa so move the cursor after equal round down open bracket move the cursor to the end of the formula comma two close the bracket enter replicate the formula entered in step six seven eight and nine for each employee all these 
we will have to replicate it down. So you have these are not required. So you have the rest of the records. Next, in cell H48, enter a function. H48, enter a function to add the total weekly wage bill. So it is equal sum total. Weekly wage bill is from H17 to H47. Enter. Next, apply appropriate formatting to all cells. So all the currency values has to be in rupees. So highlight the ranges B3 to B12. Hold the control key. Highlight E17 to E47. Hold the control key again. Highlight the weekly wage. This is until 48. Right click, format cells currency category the negative number choose the one without any other options like negative signs and choose set the decimal place to be zero choose a rupee okay click okay next sort the weekly wage table into descending order of annual salary and then ascending order of job description so to Sort, let's highlight the table first from A16 to H47. Home tab, sort and filter, custom sort. Okay, now here, the first sort is descending order of annual salary. So, choose sort by annual salary, descending largest to smallest. There is one more level to be sorted. That is ascending order of job description. So add another level, choose job description and ascending, leave it to be A to Z. Click OK. So that has been sorted. Now next, save and print the spreadsheet showing formula. So you'll have to save this and print showing formulas. Go to formula tab, show formula. You'll get all the formulas here. So make sure before you print, highlight the entire spreadsheet and adjust the columns. Your name, center number, candidate number must be entered in appropriate place as show as mentioned in the previous step, earlier step. It has to be in the landscape orientation. So let's highlight the range and set the print layout first. It has to be from A1 until H48. So highlight the range, go to page layout, print area, set print area, and then set the layout to be landscape orientation. Row and column heading must be displayed. So under page layout, tick the print option under heading. Contents must be fully visible. Now let's see how many pages you get this formula in. File, print. So you get four pages. Okay. And then choose the correct printer and print. That's one printout. Now next, we'll have to print the spreadsheet showing values. So let's get back the values. Go to formula tab, click on show formula again. You'll get back the values, adjust the column size. Now here, printer a printout has to fit on a single page. If you see the printout, you have it on two different pages, okay, which is wrong. You have to fit it in one single page. So highlight the range that is from A to A1 to H48, page layout, print area, set print area, go to page setup, fit to one page and click OK. Now if you check the print preview, everything is in one page, okay? If no specific layout is mentioned, so you can change to portrait. That will give you a clearer view for the printout. Okay, 
So that's the second printout. Now next, change the data so that, okay, we'll have to find these and change the data. So if you see the data here, Orjit data works 0.6 of a week. So works column, change the content to 0.6. And then Rujul Rangan works full time. So Rujul Rangan is here full time. We know the formula here. It has to be the works column must contain one in order to get full time. So here, in order to get full time, the works column has to be set to one. Enter. And then Pravar Subramaniam works 0 0.8 of a week. So Pravar, change this to 0 0.8. And finally, you will have to print this spreadsheet as well. Save your file and this has to be printed again. Okay, before printing, make sure all your printouts the text in all the records, all the columns are fully visible. Okay, I hope that was clear. See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.